Good afternoon, my fellow Dukies. It's Friday afternoon after another busy week in our COVID response. I hope you're all doing well. As expected, this week we started to see an uptick of patients coming to our facilities with COVID infection. And I can think I can speak for all of us to say how incredibly grateful we are of our frontline providers who are extraordinarily well prepared. Another change this week is the requirement that anybody coming to campus must wear a mask. And to that end, we've been able to supply surgical masks to our laboratory personnel. And I expect there will be another lab pickup next week. So more news to come there. I can't stress how important it is that each one of us continues to practice, practice the safety guidelines, now including face masks in public, social distancing, and not coming to work if you have any symptoms consistent with COVID-19, but rather call the hotline. For our research, I want to remind you that the best site for not only information relevant to your own grant portfolio, but to any opportunities at Duke and NIH is my research home. And in fact, this week, that site now has a directory of all COVID research going on in the basic and clinical research. And next Friday, April 17th, the School of Medicine is sponsoring a research forum on COVID-19 entitled Emerging Themes in SARS-CoV-2 Biology, Disease, and Treatment. So stay tuned for that. I want to end by continuing to recognize our extraordinary community. Normally this time of year, we have a faculty awards event, but this year we're gonna recognize our faculty virtually. 28 faculty have received the highest awards the school gives in mentoring, professionalism, humanism, education, and excellence in research, and encourage you to go to our website and lead, read the bios of 28 of your colleagues who really represent the very best. I also wanna give a shout out to Jane Pleasant, who is Vice President of Supply Chain. Her team has been working tirelessly to get the protective equipment our providers need. And this week, a huge, equip, a huge delivery of surgical masks occurred thanks to her efforts. It was quite a sight to see. And I wanna recognize our students. I had the pleasure of meeting with four of our student leaders this week. And despite the disruption and uncertainty, they were incredibly positive. They were inspiring. And I wanna end by encouraging each of you to, again, take care of yourselves and your family, take some time off, and remember, we are all in this together and we are part of the solution. Have a great weekend.